What's up, y'all? I got a banger from the Modern King. Let's get straight into it. Should women be drafted? Yes. <laughs> this drafted is this is in efforts to, to figure out if yeah. you guys are feminist or not. Um, should women be drafted in the military? Mm. Hmm. Like, by drafted, do you mean like when you turn 18, like you're automatically Okay, yeah, so men have to register for the selective service. Currently, mm. there's not a draft in the United States, okay. but all men in the United States at, uh, at 18, in order to be able to vote and have other benefits, they have to register for the selective service, wh which would then make them subject to military conscription in the case that there was a uh, military conflict which uh, required a draft. So do you think women should be subject to uh, selective service draft? Forced? Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. Okay. I wouldn't even trust women to like fight for our, our country unless that's like... <laughs> hey, I, re I respect the honesty. I wouldn't even trust women. Oh my God, that's good. They're, that's their thing. You know, like if you're like that type of woman that you feel like so you're right. stronger and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But I just feel like, no. Okay, what do you think? Well, hold on. So you think they should be drafted based on how they feel? No, about no, I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying if, like, willingly, if you just want to She's go. saying if they want to volunteer. They all just really want to volunteer, yeah, yeah. If they want to volunteer, yes. Yeah, but, but then, uh, yeah, this just defeats the purpose. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean... Right. Well, that's what we currently have. Yeah, but, uh, I, yeah, I guess we should be drafted, because, I mean... Okay, all right. I mean, I'm Can you imagine drafting old pencil arms here? Get out there and lift that. I can't. <laughs> Never lifted a weight in her entire life. Look at this girl's arms, too. <sighs> I don't want to join. <laughs> okay. True. Plenty of men. I'm plenty of men, plenty of women. Doesn't matter. Okay. If we got to do what we got to do, I mean, yeah. Now, here's the interesting thing. You guys both have different opinions on this. I still don't know which is actually, like, the actual feminist position. Because it will have feminists who will argue. It's actually, we had one last week with Andrew, yeah. who said, well, it's not, it, it's not, equitable it's not equity for women to be drafted that's a whole nother thing i noticed they quickly dropped the word equality the second anyone tries to apply it universally mm -hmm. because it would alienate all the privileges and special treatment that they get so instead they opt to swap equality to equitable so they can continue to enjoy all their privileges and special treatment Interesting. but what about you no no okay no, Shocker. women should not be drafted. Should not be drafted? No. But they should be paid equally in sporting mm. events? No comment. Okay. <laughs> no. Stupid. They shouldn't be drafted? I don't think so. Well, hold okay, on. Okay, so everybody except Anza yeah. said women shouldn't be drafted. <laughs> but y'all want to be equal? So wait a sec. How are you equal if the men are the ones that have to fight and die to defend the country? The men are the ones that build and maintain all the infrastructure, right? Like none of this stuff in the studio is built or maintained by women. Do you know that like 90% of infrastructure jobs are still held by men? Mm -hmm. And that if you look at the top 20 jobs held by women now, in 2024 versus 1924 are almost the exact same. So women have had 100 years to do whatever they want, and they still do the same 20 jobs they did 100 years ago, other than we switched out farm labor for HR work. But other than that, we're secretaries, nurses, daycare ladies, Teachers. Uh, early childhood education, uh, administrative assistants, retail workers, all the same shit that we were a century <laughs> ago. So if the men are the ones tasked with every time there's a natural disaster, they have to go out and rescue people from the fires and the floodwaters. And every time there's a war, the men have to go and fight it and defend the country. And any time there's a criminal who needs to be violently arrested, it's going to be a man who goes and does that, not a woman. Where does the equality come in? That's Rachel is cooking. Let this woman cook. The truth they want to ignore. They say they want equality. But if we look at society... These women don't want equality. They want equality of outcome. They don't want actual equality. They just want to get paid more. They want to do the same mundane jobs. They want to get paid more. They want the gender pay gap. It's just absolutely wild to me. Like, they say they want equality. It's like, all right, get it. you have to get equality of everything. Everything's got to be equal. Equity of everything, right? Got to go to the draft. You got to fight the wars. You got to dig the trenches. You got to do all that. You got to do the dangerous jobs, the underwater welding, all these things you don't want to do. You have, and you now have to do that. Jobs. You know, we're all singers. We got a lot of singers and musicians, which is cool. It's great. I love music too. 
but y'all ain't like rescuing people and uh, you know doing the doing the heavy lifting or the dirty or the dangerous jobs like who collects the trash men you know who uh, drives the trucks men who builds the streets men who maintains all the infrastructure of the world men does all the steel working and oil rig work and uh, all of the like sewer cleaning Hell men tower making. we have a video on this Rachel actually yeah. Nick remember that video we were looking at yesterday <laughs> I think it might still be on one of the tabs. By the way, I have hit up the guys from the Whatever Podcast, but I have been ghosted. <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody's got a plug from uh, the Whatever Podcast guys, please throw your boy's name in a hat. Let's Ready watch to work this. On oil rigging? No audio. No audio. Go ahead. For $1,000 a day? Oh, no That's audio. not bad. Yeah, go ahead. Are that you ready to looks... work on an oil rig? Terrifying. All right. Those Come on, are, feminists, get in there. You those can do are it. some rough necks. Come That's, on, ladies. Ladies, anyone? Andrew, Andrew had to do that. stuff like that back in the day. They'd lower him underwater into underwater welding, I not, guess. Terrifying. Not or, underwater, but they would lower him into these tiny little horrifically frightening spaces to do extremely dangerous stuff. I'm claustrophobic. I really feel like yeah. women should just have the choice to do it if they want to, because I know some women that can handle it. They do have the yeah. choice, and they're That's not. They do, and they're, and they're not. not doing it. I feel like women should have the choice, and they're not doing it. Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> Want to. Well, this I mean, is, well, this is fun. the big secret, yeah. right? Is that women don't want to do any of this dirty, so. dangerous, scary stuff. They don't want to. Well, yeah, but is that just you know what we've been raised with the culture no. we're surrounded by? No, and I've had a hundred years to do something different, but yet y'all still don't want to do these jobs. Stop it. Data to back this up. So, so okay, if you oh, is there more, Nick? <laughs> just let it play. <laughs> yeah, we'll just let it play. So, back around the time of suffrage, we're talking like. 1850s to 1920, roughly around there when the big yeah. suffrage movement was happening. Um, the, the, did you guys know that most women were completely against it? Mm -hmm. By all of the uh, referendums that they would do where they would let women vote on whether they wanted to vote, only about 4% actually had any interest in voting. Mm -hmm. And they actually had really good reasons for this. There was much higher membership in anti-suffrage groups than pro-suffrage groups. And these groups would do public debates. They would do written debates, uh, newspaper periodicals where they would go back and forth and debate these things. And the women who were against suffrage said, look, the primary purpose of government is to protect persons and property. Okay, why task women with that when we're not really capable of doing that? Okay, uh, we don't want to have to be drafted. We don't want to have to do jury duty. We don't want to have to be a political block because back then women had advocacy groups for thing they, things they wanted, but they weren't a lobbying group. They didn't have like voting rights, so they weren't able to be as easily politicized. They felt like they had a moral high ground to ask for things like, we need more parks, we need better schools, we need clean air, whatever it was. Um, I, who who I, defends <laughs> our national borders? Not a bunch of feminists, right? Uh, the use of force is still always going to be met. I mean, of course, like it's when you come men down are taller and bigger, of course, yeah. they're going to they're gonna have no, that physical... <laughs> well, I, I always got it. I always right. understood. I, right. <laughs> I mean, going back to the sports things, I mean, the men are going to be able to do things that, you know, women right. just physically right. can't. But. So, when we talk about equality, yeah. the only equality women have is the illusion of equality granted to them and provided for them by men. Preach. She's spot on. Wow. Oh, yeah, because okay, to Rachel's point, y'all can't have equality unless we give it to you. What are you going to do? I, I don't know who it was the other day, but somebody was talking about, like, if we decided as men we're going to take all of women's rights away, there's nothing that anybody can do. What are they going to do? We gave them the rights, we enforced the rights. It's a scary thought, and I'm glad we, we're not like this, because, you know, it could turn out to be catastrophic, um, just from a humanitarian perspective, but, like, some women seem to forget how good they have it. Like, you got it pretty good. Like, life is good over here in America. What, what are we complaining so much about? That's why I think it depends on the context when it comes to equality, personally. Um, if, you, <laughs> if, you, if you have to appeal to men and say, men, let us be equal. We demand equality. And the men go, fine, we'll enforce equality. For, is that really equality? Well, that's why I think it depends on how it is being handled. Personally, I think so it's, it's up to the men. <laughs> basically it's well, always going to when well you because they're already in that position if i mean if that was i mean if we could flip it and then they'd have to ask us right 
I mean, oh, okay, okay. So you think we could put women on all the oil rigs, and we could put women in the Senate, we could put women in the military as generals, we could make them sheriffs, and that would work out fine? Yeah. You think so? Okay, I so... I mean, well, here's the thing. I mean... <laughs> I mean, okay. Even she's laughing at it. Girls, stop it. Hey, uh, for example, I remember watching this one show. Uh, I think it was called Stars and Stripes. And it, it took a bunch of celebrities and put them in the position of military. It had men and it had women. The person who ended up winning was uh, the skier Peekaboo Streets. And she, uh, she was a woman. She we don't care. I think we need... <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> I want to I want to go look at the the top jobs held by women in 1924 20 Sorry, sorry. We're bouncing around. I'm sorry. Uh, I've got certain hotkeys for certain things. All right, let's see here. Let's see in the labor force since 1920. Okay, this is not bad. Other domestic and personal service, teachers, stenographers and typewriters, clerks, farm laborers, launderers, laund launder that's a tough one, uh, laundresses, salesmen and saleswomen, bookkeepers, cashiers, cooks, farmers, general farms. Let's see. Number of women in the workforce has went up. S share of women employed in 10 occupations. Okay, I mean, that's an okay graph that tells me kind of the top 10. I want to see the comparison um, of the ones held by... 50 most common jobs held by women back in the day, 100 years ago. Artists, sculptors, musicians, retail dealers, uh, boarding and lodging, housekeepers, waitresses, midwives, telephone operators. Okay, cooks. Okay, okay, okay. Um, what about in today's world? Um, what is this? There we go. Let's see if we can't find it. Top jobs held by, top jobs held by women in 2024. Let's try that. Uh, top 10 highest, not highest paying jobs for women. What are some lucrative career, most common occupations for women in the labor force? Um, let's see here. This is from DOL.gov, Department of Labor. Registered nurses, elementary middle school teachers, managers, customer service reps, secretaries, first line supervisors, accountants, financial managers, bookkeeping, nursing assistants, office clerks, cashiers, secondary school teachers, teaching assistants, maids, these are these are easy jobs. The hardest job out of all this would probably be the RN, or maybe like um, human resources, teaching assistant. Like all this is retail. The hardest one would be a nurse. The absolutely hardest one would be a nurse because you actually have to go to school for that. But I'm pretty sure actually the only two that you'd have to go to school and each, even with this uh, elementary school teacher or like a primary school teacher, just because I know I used to be a teacher, you only have to have a teaching certi uh, certification. You can get that after like six months. You don't really need to go to college for that. Nursing assistant, I think you can, like that's a CNA. You don't really need to go to school for that. That doesn't take much time. Um, all right, let's look at the top jobs held by men today. Let's see here. What jobs do men mainly do for men and the career smart? What is this? Uh, oh, Lord have mercy. Um, okay, this is interesting. Nursery nurses and assistants, 90%, 97% females. Vehicle technicians, mechanics, and electricians, 99% men. Sales and retail assistants, highest total male. Care workers and home carers. Wow, it's crazy. Female workforce, male workforce. Carpenters and joiners, electricians, electrical fitters, metalworking, plumbers, mobile machine, forklift truck drivers, large goods vehicle drivers. Like, it is just dominated. Look at all these are just dominated by men. You don't even get below 90% until you get to air, air transport operatives, groundsmen and groundkeepers, gardeners. Like, even there's more men that are gardeners, bruv. Butchers, civil engineers. And so let's see where the women dominate. The women dominate down here at nurseries, legal secretaries, childminders, medical secretaries, teaching assistants, secretaries, housekeepers, dancers, choreographers, educational support assistants, psychologists. Wow, what does that tell you? Pharmacy and dispensing assistants, receptionists, technicians, 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 nurses. This is dominated by women. Physiotherapists, play workers. What is a play worker? Probation officers? Really? That's mainly held down by women. Veterinary nurses, senior care workers, social workers, dominated by women, bruv. And then look at all the, these jobs pay more, though. 
So is there a gender pay gap or is it just you ladies don't want to do the harder jobs? To me, it just seems like ladies don't want to do the harder jobs. Being an electrician is much harder than being a teaching assistant. A teaching assistant. The 20 jobs that have the wildest um, gender gaps. T uh, registered nurses. Total employment, three and a half million. Dominated by women. Good for them. Let's see. Among men, 1,000. Among women. But I bet it's because men work more. Probably work longer hours. Broadcast. School psychologists. Oh, God. that's That sounds not fun. Uh, surveying and mapping technicians. Child family and social social workers. Electrical and electronic engineers. Um, 90, 84% of men, occupational therapists dominated by women. That's what I'm like, dude, should an occupational therapist make as much as a freaking electrician, bro? I'm just, I'm just keeping it a buck here. Like a lot of these jobs are very dangerous. Some of these jobs, like electrician, you could be electrocuted. It's not fun. Plumbing, not fun. Um... Uh, let's look at this graph. This is from Reddit. Percentage of U.S. workers are auto mechanics, men, carpenters, electricians, foremen, laborers, truck drivers, stock movers, like CEOs. Like, bro, the list goes on. And then as the pay goes down, it goes up for women. The thing is, ladies, you've had the chance to flip this chart, but you haven't. Like, I feel like a lot of men don't want to be secretaries. Women dominate this. 90-something percent of secretaries are women. Childcare workers. Maids. I mean, bro, you can't make this. The data is beautiful. The data is absolutely beautiful. Let's jump into the subreddit. It's crazy to me. I haven't I haven't dug into that, so I just wanted to um, actually look into that and just see what was going on. Um, let's see here. What did he just say? More modern women roast. Let's see what this is all about. This is from Desex. Always holding it down, boy. Always holding it Excuse down. Excuse me, are you guys siblings or dating? Just friends. Just friends? Okay, perfect. I'll give you $10,000 cash right now, spot if you guys kiss. 10000 Yeah, one kiss. No, thanks. Oh, no, it's 10000 I'm not interested. Damn, she did you dirty, bro. Yeah, yeah, the reason God created middle finger. Oh, well, that's the worst roast I've ever heard. You tried, but you failed. Just like your dad's condo. <laughs> 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 Fired. Women be talking so damn brave sometimes, saying like, "You wouldn't know what to do with me." Shit, <laughs> I've been with a hoe before. Ain't no problem at all. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. Women rarely get held accountable for their poor decisions. Men do, though. Men have to live in reality. Women are afforded the privilege of living being delusional. So when a guy criticizes a woman, oh my god, right? If you don't believe me, think about it. If a dude's fat, we just call him fat. You're a loser, huh? Woman's fat. Love your curves, girl. You go. She's rude and obnoxious. Oh, you know what? They just can't handle you. You're strong and independent. Fierce. We have all these terms to cover up female inadequacies, but we don't... It's so true, though. Women change their environment to fit their mindset. And men change their mindset to fit their environment. Women get to live life on easy mode. It's so true. It's empowering if you're a big girl, but if you're a guy that's big, you just get called fat and you get shamed by your buddies. We have these same terms for men. Whoa! Yeah, women women never get help. Accountability is the plague to these women. It's kryptonite. They can't stand it. Even Cass sometimes, like, we, I have to tread lightly because she doesn't always just want to be, like, straight to the truth, like, held accountable. Now, sometimes she'll open up and be like, hey, what are some things I need to work on? Um, which is good. I appreciate that. That's why I love her so much. But for me, it's it's always cr criticize the Levi show. It always is. But it's you gotta you gotta realize women are just like that. You know what I mean? That's why sometimes I just sit there, and <laughs> listen to her, and I'm like, here's one way you can get a woman if she's like she's like barreling down on you and be like, you need to do this better, this better. Be like, yeah, keep going. And she says another thing. And what else? And what else? Well, how how else am I? What else do I need to do better? Well, I feel like I'm not doing good here. What else do I need to do better? And like, just let her go at you for an hour and be like, okay, are you ready for my turn? <laughs> <laughs> you got to rip me for an hour. Do I get to go in? Uh, it's a great way to break it down. But um, man, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Loki, did you have a good time? Whoa! Bro, he's so tired. Sorry, I got the alerts going so you're hearing, whoa! Um, I, I forgot to take him off. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality Makes You Irresistible to Women and Respected by Men. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.